Good morning. It's Thursday. What is that terrible noise? Huh. Anyway, uh, you may have noticed I've spent every day this week in Kingsburg. Gilbert and I are working on a project. I don't think I'm able to talk about it yet, so I'm not. But today, well, yesterday, Gilbert and Lauren challenged me to ride the scooter all the way from Clovis to Kingsburg. So I'm going to ride the electric Ninebot Max scooter and hopefully this isn't the last vlog and I make it and um, you know, everything is okay. But uh, I, do, I do have an out, you know, if I get stuck, I run out of battery, it's some, and there's an accident of some sort, uh, I'll call Gilbert, he'll come and get me. Um, but this is gonna be the longest ride I've done with since getting the Ninebot scooter. Um, here we go, I got the GoPro, I'm gonna attach, I'm gonna wear a helmet, I'm going to attach it to the helmet and do a time lapse for the whole ride. Hopefully I make it. I've got water, an extra shirt, socks, underwear, and my backpack in case I'm really gross by the time I make it to Gilbert's house and need to change, and water, and snacks. So uh, it normally takes me about a half hour, 35 minutes to get to Gilbert's house. And um, you know, if I'm on the nine bot, it's probably going to take like two hours. Uh, it's um, not too hot right now. It's gonna get like 85, 88 degrees today. So hopefully I don't get burned to a crisp. I did put sunscreen on. Um, let's do this thing. Got the nine bot max scooter set up. Uh, the screen, <laughs> oh, pulse width modulation. Um, I've got it in D mode. I, I th might be able to make it in sport mode. But um, I don't want to risk running out of batteries. Eco's going to take forever. So I think the happy balance will be D. I'm going to have to pop it into sport mode for a couple things. Oh, yeah, I am going to leave the headlight on. I also enabled cruise control. So if I hold the throttle, hold the accelerator for about five seconds, you know, I'm going to go full bore and drive mode. Uh, that'll cap out at about 13, 14 miles an hour. And then, um, yeah, then I'll, I should be able to make it uh, the 20, 24, 25 miles in about two hours, just under. Made it to the first big intersection, McCall and Shaw. Shaw was a little tricky. It's a narrow street, but uh, McCall's even narrower. It's a little, it's gonna be even tougher. And it doesn't even have uh, like a white line for a lane, uh, you know, that's not even a bike lane on Shaw, but there's nothing on McCall. So it's, it's extra, extra dangerous. Um, and then I also will have to cross the 180 on McCall and that'll be tricky if there isn't a car going. And this visor on my helmet isn't holding the GoPro very well, but uh, you know what? We're gonna keep trucking along. Just got past what I think was gonna be the trickiest part of this whole ride uh, the 180 and McCall um, luckily there was a truck in front of me I was able to just be right behind a truck going straight I uh, was in sport mode got through it just fine the, the light did turn yellow when I was halfway through so I was a little worried but I uh, still got through a-okay um, I still have four bars of power left on the uh, on the car on the scooter so I think I'm gonna try to stay in sport mode at least to where McCall meets uh, Manning, and I'm gonna turn left. I've made it all the way to Jensen. I've made it to Selma, I'm over halfway. I have a little less than half of my battery. Uh, hopefully I can make it the rest of the way. That's the city of Parlier. I just came down Manning. Manning was a little worrisome because it has a higher speed limit for the cars. They, most of the way it's 65 miles per hour, whereas the first roads I was on, they capped out at 55 and there's more semi trucks, but it had a pretty healthy uh, kind of area for me to ride, although it wasn't a true bike lane. And I've got the last stretch Academy that'll lead me right into Kingsburg. kids and their electric devices. I have, 
I have one dotted battery left, but it's not blinking yet. You're gonna make it. You think I'll make it? Yeah. All right. That I thing got a Hemi? What? That thing got a Hemi? <laughs> I'm officially to Kingsburg, I made it. Uh, I still have about a mile to go to Gilbert's house and my battery, I don't know if you can see it, it's, it's blinking red. I don't know if I'm gonna make it, but I'm pretty dang close. I've officially made it to Kingsburg. Holy crap, I made it! With like no battery left, it's blinking red. But we made it all the way to Kingsburg, from Clovis to Kingsburg on the nine bot max one battery, mostly drive mode, a little bit of sport mode, uh, about 24, 25 miles. Yay! Well, I tried to do a GoPro time warp and it looks like it didn't record. So I've made it to Gilbert's. We're gonna do some work, but first, uh, he asked me to unbox this for him. Let's see what's inside. This knife is ridiculous, by the way. I don't I feel like- <laughs> On the wide angle, it looks bigger than your torso. <laughs> All right, I'm putting this away before I hurt myself or someone with it. Come on. Ginormous. Oh boy. Oh boy. What have you done, Gilbert? A Zoom F6 32-bit float. Uh, so we're gonna... And so much more. More? There's, there's more than that? Well, it's not even that it's more than that. It's just like the, the, the thing case. is like so much more capable than just 32 bit. Yeah, so six, six channel, six XLR inputs. Yeah, 32 bit float recording, dual AD converters. Um, that's the preamp or the, right. the, yeah. All their preamps are, are the higher level ones to the studio ones. So. So pod tracks for sale. Podtrack is for sale, yeah, um, and thing. the next episode of the podcast we record this weekend should sound pretty good. Yeah. Actually, should we just record the podcast today? That's what here? I was actually thinking of <laughs> save the weekend, yeah. All right, very cool. Yeah, we got our little field bag. Yeah, uh, so, you know. It's not a full, like, normal operator. operator shoulder pack or anything, but, like. Yeah, wear it around your waist. and It's better, well, well your waist will be one of my legs. <laughs> just your, your, like a... Uh, what do they do at the like a garter at a yeah, wedding? And at least it has a clear top. Yeah. And the pastors on both sides, so. Cool. There's no, 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 there aren't any other good ones. Oh, it doesn't come with a belt, so you have to attach it no, to it's your, in there. your own belt. It's in there. Oh, it's in the yeah, it is yeah. in here. What is this? This is just a sticky. Uh, rather than a silica pack, it's a sticker. Oh really? It wasn't yeah. like a security bark, um, security metal thing strip. Nope. No. Cool. All right. Okay. There is a belt. And then if you need a wireless transmitter or any other module, you have a little stick loop it there. in there. Put my uh, Rode Wireless Go receivers in there. Let's record <laughs> all six tracks at once. And yeah. Make sure they all work. Switch between them. Yeah. As, to, for the whole show. <laughs> for the whole show. I just. Every, I would just do that every, just to test sentence. it, make sure it's all working. <laughs> we can, oh, I guess and we also could, the, 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 the preamps are 75 dB. So, so it should be strong enough to power the RE20 and yeah. the uh, SM7B. The Quantum, the Presonus Quantum 75 dB. Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah this, there's, I've, I've mentioned this before, like not every Zoom product excites me or like I want to have it. Um, in some cases, I think Tascam does better for some things um, and some other brands, but the Zoom F6 and the Zoom L12, L20 are like the three Zoom devices that I'm like, yes, this is, this actually excites me. This is something that I think is, is very cool. I couldn't justify a mix pre or the, uh, it, the SS8 or whatever they, they call it, the- Yeah, it? sound devices. Yeah, or uh, even the same reason I couldn't justify a USB uh, mix pre. You know, they're, they're yeah. all in studio ones. Like it just. This is smaller than I. Yeah, I kept seeing it in people's hands and thinking, "Wow, that's incredibly small." I, I've seen the pictures of it, and it, it I just, palm. I just it's, think it's, it's shocking. Think it's bigger. Small. Now I have long fingers, but yeah, this is small. Wow. Um, 
It does only have the single SD card. That slot. pisses me off. All the all the uh, the the, the F four the F eight has dual as well. Has two. Right. Um, the F eight's significantly larger though. It is. It is. It's it's a little it's a little shorter, right. but it's it's about it's about two of these. Mm -hmm. And I, I I preferred the smaller one for our setup. This is this is cool. Yeah. I how. There's no. <laughs> This is almost a perfect device, aside from um, dual SDs. a single SD card slot. Uh, it would be, I would have much more uh, confidence in it if I could have multiple recordings. So I'll say this, like, and of course not at this level, but I've, I have probably hundreds of hours, like in the hundreds of hours on my H4N Pro. Yeah. And I've never once had a corrupt file, even with the shittiest SD card. Yeah, so it's the same thing with helps, my Tascam DR40. One it, one SD card, I have hundreds and hundreds of hours of recording on yeah. it. And I yeah, yeah, I just use like a cheap 32 gig card on it. Yeah, that's the max it'll take on, on the H4N Pro. This one will take a half terabyte. Nice. So nice. we could we'll have just one good quality Delkin or ProGrade, you know, in there and just leave it. Yeah. You know, format it. Very cool. Yeah, how- Did it come with an external power adapter or no? Uh, it may be under this foam. That would be nice, because it looks like- Because Zoom is. rarely does. They always nickel oh. and dime that stuff. Or it's USB-C. It's USB-C, so Excellent. maybe not. And it is five volts, it says. Five volts, USB-C. Beautiful. That's great. Great. I was unclear on that. What is this port? Is, is it anything it's, or is It's some sort of proprietary expansion port. I just I just opened it. I didn't really do it on camera. Interesting. Yeah. And it's very user accessible, so I doubt it's just for service. Yeah. Okay. You gonna hit They've, that bow flex? Yeah. I mean, I just I just rode all the way here on the scooter. I can't believe you did it. I'm so impressed. I can't believe the GoPro hasn't processed the time warp file. Or uh, it's screwed up. Yeah. Yeah, or the GoPro Hero 9 goofed me. Uh, that's, oh, yeah, and then this X slot here is can do for an MPs. Yeah. yeah, Sony MPF battery. Um, they're not the dual XLR and quarter inch. That's also... None of them have it, right? So it's not even the one, one or two on the... No, no, I'm saying on this, oh, yeah, none, none of them are. None of them have it. Yeah. I want to say the Zoom F4 and F8. Even the H4N Pro has it, and the has A6 dual. has duals. So... Almost, almost a perfect product. Uh, just missing a couple of things. I wish I had a second SD card slot, mm -hmm. and I wish uh, it was the dual um, inputs. I do like the USB-C power. Mm -hmm. It does still have uh, the weird um, kind of scrolly, clicky navigator. Just classic Zoom interface. Yeah, very Zoom. So, like. and I wonder if it's got the world's slowest processor in it. So we'll we'll find out about the software side before long. Yeah. Uh, I have powers zero over experience here. with this thing. So, powers over here. It's booting up. And yeah, that's that, that wasn't way too bad. Faster than any other Zoom that I've used. So that's a good sign. Oh, this is not, this is, I'm changing the headphone routing. Uh, I do use the buttons on the front to navigate oh, okay. the menu. Uh, it's 2021. It's March 31st. And I don't know what time it is. It's like 11, almost 11 o'clock. It is 11.24. It's April, isn't it? April 1st. Oh, it is April 1st. Ha <laughs> ha. There is no... Moon. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like you're dialing an old phone number. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Right on. All right. I'm excited for it. Yeah. Yeah, seriously though, uh, PodTrack P4, great for podcasters. Like it's, it's, it really is good, it's quick, and we- It powers, it powers uh, gain-hungry microphones. It's clean, it sounds clean, very, shockingly very clean. Very clean preamps. Yeah. Um, Just missing some basic stuff that we really wanted. Yeah, yeah. 
hit higher uh, bit depth and and frequency. Yeah. But um, we're close. We're close. We're close. All right. So listen to the editor podcast. Hopefully the next episode sounds better. Uh, that's it for this vlog. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Shoo.